Hello guys, this is Almontek from Chicago, Illinois. I'm here in Cebu City and attend the Dawata Fiesta, which is a festival of yoga, music, arts, culture, and community, as well as wellness, meditation, high intensity interval training, and a lot more, more, more. It's all about, let's just explore this wonderful fiesta and we'll start the ball rolling and attend some of their classes here. I'm so surprised ice bath here is available here in Cebu City in the Diwata Fiesta. So let's explore this wonderful ice bath benefits. You guys, as what you know, the benefits of ice bath is strengthening the immune system, maintain your mindful and focus and wellness, improve your brain cells, increase your lifespan and health span, as well as enjoying life, focusing on health, wellness, and happiness. And I would like to ask some questions of the entrepreneur here. What's your name and what are the benefits? My name is Pamela. Uh, the benefits is many. Most of them is in, uh, healthy inflammation, so it's good for the muscles after workout if you have uh, soreness. Also good for mental and physical resilience. Good for people who suffer with panic attack, depression. So they learn how to regulate themselves with the eyes and they learn how to, like, how to regulate themselves in, in life. In every you overcome fear before entering the ice bath as well as after the ice bath. Just focus on the breath, breathe deeply, and it's good. And how will you invite people to try this ice bath and overcome their fear? Fill a bathtub with water and ice and get in it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> of the survivors in the ice bath so how did you set your mind before and after i thought about how much i love my mom and my dad how about after i thought about how hungry i was and if you're in your puppy poles i wanted you to drop your chest down to the mat and if you're in your child's pose, deep in. And then exhale, rounding your back. Stay into your rounding of your back. Three, lift up, yeah. Two, lift up, beautiful. Try not to bend your elbows here. And one, okay? Inhale from there. And then exhale, hands to the back here, grabbing your ankle or the sides of your feet. And I want you to focus on pointing. Open your chest, okay? Find your stability. For three, two, lower down, and one. Good job. Start that, guys. I wanna hear you do clapping. So you do the clap. Do the clap again. Thank you. 
Chicago, Illinois. One of the highlights here in this Audiwata Fest is the Capoeira Martial Arts. Uh, it's a uh, martial arts coming from Brazil. So more or less, it's like a offense defense thing. With a with a bit of the drum, you go to your basic stance, basic uh, defense, basic offense. So it's really good thing. Once again, it is a capoeira martial arts that was founded in Brazil and introduced here in this Diwata Fest here in Cebu City, Philippines. The first time I see a martial arts coming from Brazil and what do you and what's your name, sir? I'm Zuhezo. It means smile. It's a Brazilian word for smile, but my name here in Cebuano, it's Zulaz. And what's the history of this, this uh, martial arts? And what's the name and when is it founded? And what are the benefits of this type of martial arts? This was developed among the upper Brazilian slaves who were brought to Brazil. They were not allowed to create or do a martial arts, so then the, these guys like do, da they do dancing. But later on, they discovered that the dance element, which is the jinga, makes the, the martial art more graceful, more uh, tricky, more powerful, and uh, it has close to it has close to the micro bionic or like the biomechanical movements of the human body. So uh, through jinga, it makes kids evades powerful and graceful, connecting them. Or, or okay, sir. So is it more on the hands movement, feet movement, or the offense defense, or what are they? Is it used for close fighting, far fighting, and what is it all about for complete defense? It's actually everything. Like it has defensive uh, aspect where we practice more evading gracefully, and there's also sweep than just kicks. We have kicks, of course, the like you know the attack, but. Uh, here we practice resistance, like when someone's sweeping us, we need to evade, we need to uh, fall on the floor as graceful as possible and raise back as nice as possible and create this fall into a nice racing back and make it like an attack or another okay. kick or so another evade. So in terms of benefits good. about Man, mind and body coordination. What are the benefits will it give to One the One thing people? I could, say, could really say in Kapara, we we both, both we do both sides, left and right. So it's very good to the cognitive aspect, and it also have very helpful in developing the psychomotor skills. And yeah, it's very good to the body and mind. And uh, yeah, there's also a sense of community because in Capoeira, in our game, no one will gonna win, rather or one gonna lose, but everyone wins because uh, in Capoeira we really like exchange, uh, you know, attacks and beautiful events to guide one another to create beautiful movement. So it's all about that. It's about connection. It's about uh, communicating through the movements. So, okay, guys. Guys around the world, you just heard the words of an expert of Capoeira Martial Arts from Brazil. And thank you very much, sir, for introducing this to the to the special event like this. Uh, what's this? The Wata event? 
and wow. good luck on your your journey to this capoeira so martial arts. Sir, muito... Guys, if you like the contents of this video, please subscribe to this channel so we can inform you of new episodes. So, this is Almond Tech once again signing off. See you in the next episode and 